Now look, you might not like me for saying that, you might not want your husband to hear it. Today's episode is going to be centered around a recent movie that I watched. And ladies, let me tell you, if you have not seen this movie, make sure you go check it out ASAP. Not only is it such an inspiring story, but it also just shows us how integral women are in this world. Welcome or welcome back to your new favorite talk show for Christian women, Grown Lady Chat, with me, your host, Dr. Sharonda Simone. Now here on Grown Lady Chat, I'm all about empowerment, strengthening, teaching, enriching, energizing, and motivating women to live beautifully in Christ. And as Christ followers, as women of God, one thing that we are told to do is to be our husband's helpmate. And so when I watched a movie recently, I was taken in by the beautiful story, but also I was reminded about just how much we as women influence our spouses. Ladies, this episode is going to bless you. Hey lady, are you a woman who loves the Lord and who also enjoys beautiful things? Well, if you are, then you are personally invited to join my exclusive Christian women's group. In this group, we chat about clothes, beauty, home decor, parenting, marriage, cooking, and of course, our Christian walk. It's Christian lifestyle all encompassing. So be sure to join by clicking the link below. I hope to chat with you soon. Now back to our show. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome. Be sure to let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from, how you came to find out about Grown Lady Chat. All right, I already told you what we do here in this Grown Lady community. So make sure that you are plugged in, make sure that you're engaged because ladies, we are truly building a machine here and I want for you to be a part of it. If you've been tuning in for some time now, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, all right? I do new videos, new episodes every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And get this, ladies, on Thursdays, our episodes are absolutely live, which means that you and I are interacting in real time. And the excitement for me, and from what I gather, the Girl and Lady Chat community, the excitement that we experience, and just the genuine, authentic conversations that we have on Thursday, lady, you have to be a part of it, okay? So if you are not tuning in at 7 p.m. on Thursday, trust me, you are missing out. And the easiest way to make sure that you don't miss an episode is to subscribe, right? And make sure that you put on your bell notifications so that you're alerted every time a new episode goes live. I like to do random giveaways because I know that you're busy, okay? You're a busy lady, you have many things that you are doing, but you still choose to enjoy my content. So I like to do random giveaways, and so if you're a giveaway winner, you could get a gift card, home decor items, you could get makeup, beauty, skincare products, even faith-based resources or personal development tools. And the easiest way for you to be entered into these random giveaways is by answering the question of the day, chatting it up in the comments, joining my email community, and basically just being a part of Grown Lady Chat. Are you a woman who enjoys beautiful things? 34.5 Lifestyle has lovely, unique accessories for your everyday look and also for those special occasions. Click the link below to check out our latest accessory collection. Okay, so from the title, you may already know what movie I'm talking about, but my husband and I recently watched the One Love movie and it's the life story or a part of the life story for Bob Marley. Now, many of you may already know this, but I am Jamaican, so both of my parents are full-blooded Jamaican, but I was born in the US, then I lived in Jamaica for some time, then I came back, and so, you know, just learning more about my Jamaican heritage, that's really important to me. And there were so many things about Bob Marley that I did not know. And just his life and the people who are around him and even his wife. And so again, as I was watching the movie, I don't want to you know, do any spoilers, so don't worry. But as I was watching the movie, yes, I was taken in by his story and how much he positively impacted Jamaica in a time when the country needed it most. His wife, Rita, wow, she was such a pillar of strength for her husband. Now, taking out the 
spiritual aspect because Rastafarianism is not the same as Christianity. Still, I was able to glean so much from her as a wife and how she supported her husband when he needed her and even when he wasn't always receptive to her assistance. Ladies, the Bible calls us as Christ's followers to be our husband's helpmate. And let me tell you, Rita, she was her husband's helpmate. Now they didn't do it perfectly. And even that alone is a good reminder for us as women. Maybe in your marriage, you know, you and hubby, you're doing good, right? You don't have any big issues. You know, you might have a little, you know, disagreements here and there, but nothing that is so traumatic that would strain the marriage to the point of concern of whether you're going to make it or not. However, I saw in this movie, which yes, some of it could be dramatized, but there is, you know, evidence to say otherwise that, you know, a lot of the accounts that were shared in the movie, they were real as far as infidelity and just strain on their marriage. You know, those were real things that they dealt with. And throughout it all, his wife, she stood up, she took the, the blame for what she actually did, but she also was still there for her husband and she accepted his flaws as well. Now, I'm not saying that they each agreed with what the other person did. They did not. <laughs> there was no agreement on, you know, the wrongs that were done, but that didn't change her actions toward her husband as being his helpmate. You know, hear me out, ladies, hear me out. Let's have a heart to heart. It's easy for us as wives to speak about how much we're going to support our husbands when everything is good, when we're on the same page, when we agree with what they're doing, when they're doing what we want for them to do, right? It's so easy for us to do that. But ladies, I want for you to ask yourself, genuinely ask yourself, if your husband is not doing that which you want him to do, if he is not, you know, at the level you think he should be, maybe you and he are not, you know, at the same mindset at this moment, are you going to stop doing that which God told you to do. Now again, infidelity aside, all right, infidelity aside, I'm not saying that you should stay and, you know, deal with any kind of abuse or any kind of mental torment. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying when things aren't perfect, ladies, are you still going to show up and be there for your husband? And as I was watching the movie, I said, wow, she really did. She stood up for her husband, but she also stood up for herself. Now, the month of March is Women's Month. And I was first made aware of this month and the celebration about 10 years ago, even though, yes, we're looking at the accomplishments of women, one accomplishment that I think gets overlooked significantly aside from financial, aside from political, aside from business, aside from bearing children, one thing that I believe is overlooked, one key aspect that women we bring to the table is the immense influence we have in our homes and in our husband's lives. Hey lady, are you a woman who loves the Lord and who also enjoys beautiful things? Well, if you are, then you are personally invited to join my exclusive Christian women's group. In this group, we chat about clothes, beauty, home decor, parenting, marriage, cooking, and of course, our Christian walk. It's Christian lifestyle all encompassing. So be sure to join by clicking the link below. I hope to chat with you soon. Now back to our show. Ladies, Bob Marley's life took a significant turn after he met his wife, Rita, when they were little. She influenced him so heavily that his, the trajectory of his life, the entire course switched. And I thought to myself, wow, do we as women, do we understand the impact we have? You know, there are so many people nowadays who are signing up to be influencers and we want to influence people to buy things and to, you know, join groups and organizations. But ladies, you, you watching, you're an influencer. You're an influence in your home. Your children are watching you. They're watching to see how you treat your husband, how you treat yourself, how you treat them. Your husband needs you as his helpmate. And again, please don't take the sound bites and say, I am supporting adultery. I am not. Okay, I'm not supporting any of that. I'm not supporting staying around for mental and emotional abuse, uh, financial abuse. I'm not talking about that. What I am saying though, is that there are times when we as women, we have this false sense of comfort. 
and false confidence saying that, you know what, of course, I'm gonna stick by my man, I'm gonna support him and help him, and I'm going to be, you know, his helper, but it's only when things are going as we want. And that's a false sense of confidence and security because very often, that's not the case. Now look, you might not like me for saying that, you might not want your husband to hear it, but I think it's a real conversation that we as women should be having with one another so that we can elevate ourselves and be the maternal figure in our homes. Ladies, let's realize our influence. Let's realize just how influential we are. Let's not take that lightly. Let's, as women of God, let's seek the Lord and say, Lord, tell me exactly how I'm supposed to help my husband. I know very often, hubby and I will have a heart-to-heart -heart chat and he'll say, hey, I know you're trying to help me, but this is what I need help in. You're thinking you're helping me with X, Y, Z, but I really need help with A, B, C. And sometimes I feel as though he is correct because obviously he knows what he needs help with. But ladies, there are other times when hubby might not realize he needs, his, he needs your help. He might not realize that. So that's when you have to go to Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, how can I help my husband even when he doesn't realize he needs my help in this department? How can I truly be his help mate even when he thinks he can go on this part of the journey alone? And trust me, God is faithful. Holy Spirit is faithful. He will honor that request. He will show you whether it's a direct sign, whether it's a Bible verse, whether it's a discussion with a friend, whether it's a post on social media, in your quiet time, through a devotional, whatever it is, Holy Spirit will reveal it to you how you can help your husband, even when he doesn't think he needs your help. One Bible verse that I try to keep in the forefront of my mind anytime I need a reminder about my position in my home is in Psalms 128 verse one. Let me read it to you from the King James Version. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants around thy table. Now I've talked about this before on other episodes, but I still believe that it is a pertinent Bible verse that we can discuss and bring into today's chat. Ladies, think about a vine. When vines grow, they are intrusive, they are aggressive, they are nonstop and they are going to reach the highest point of whatever structure they are growing on and around. You look at buildings that have vines growing on them and it's almost as though the vine is taking over, so much so that it is shielding that whole side of the building from the elements. You can't sometimes even see the color of the wood or the brick or the stone behind the vine because it's so thick, it's so lush. It's like a protection, a cover. Ladies, that is who you are in your home. And you might be saying to yourself, well, Dr. Sharonda, I don't have a spouse. I don't have children. Or maybe you have children and you don't have a spouse. And you're wondering, okay, well, does this chat still pertain to me? Absolutely, because you are influential. You have influence in your home. Let's take it back to Genesis. We saw that Eve was able to influence her husband while Adam should have stood up and said, no, wifey, that's not what God said. Okay, Adam should have done that, but he didn't. But his wife was influential. Ladies, you and I, we still have that same influence today. Nothing has changed, okay? So let's use our influence, our God-given influence for good. Yes, I respect boundaries, but at the same time, my children are too young to have any privacy in my own home, okay? And there is no part of my husband's life that I don't have access to and vice versa. And that's because as helpmates, as people who have influence in our homes, we need to know the pain points, the pressure points, the needs, of our, of our husband and of our children. As someone who has been in the influenza circle, all right, I realized that one way for me to be effective as an influenza is to know what those around me need, right? So if I know what is lacking for the people around me, then I'm better able to serve them and to show up for them, to fill that gap, to expose them to a product or a thought process that's going to help change their lives. It's the same thing in our homes. So we should remember that, take hold of that, and that's going to help us be even more influential in our husband's lives, a better help mate. Today's question of the day is simple. Drop in the comments and let me know, have you watched the One Love movie yet? Yes or no? Alrighty, lady, that is it for today's episode of Grown Lady Chat. Be sure to smash the like button and spam the comment section. 
Also, don't forget to join my email community. We are growing over there and I don't want for you to miss any of the exclusive information that I share in the email community. So until Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am Dr. Sharonda Simone and I will either see you at the top or from the top. You decide. Bye.